last chance for life being wheeled in, ready to operate. But this is no ordinary transplant. We've never done this in a human. We have given him a better option, but whether it's a day, week, month, year, I don't know. That's because for the first time ever, doctors in the United States have used a pig's heart, genetically modified to behave more like a human's, on a 57-year-old man. And so far, so good. It's been four days since David Bennett had the life-saving operation. He was too sick to qualify for a human heart transplant, so doctors told the handyman from Maryland a pig's organ was his only chance. This was crisis mode. My dad was on his deathbed, and the doctors have done everything in their power to keep him alive. This was the moment the animal's heart was lifted from the ice. Pig heart valves have been used on humans before because they're so similar, but never a whole heart. To make it possible, the organ was genetically modified to remove three genes from the donor pig that are responsible for rejection, and in their place, six human genes that control immune acceptance were inserted. The painstaking pig procedure took eight hours, and while the heart could still be rejected in time, the surgeon said the early signs were very positive. He had had previous heart surgery, so it took a while to, uh, to prepare the operative site such that we could remove his heart and replace it with that of the, uh, of the animals. That process took uh, a few more hours, and uh, really towards the end of the, of the afternoon, we were prepared to discontinue the surgery and test the new heart in its new environment. And uh, we were quite pleased that uh, as we separated from the heart-lung machine, the animal heart was uh, functioning by my eye at least, just about as normal as we could have expected. The next few days are crucial. Doctors are standing by with an emergency treatment plan should Mr. Bennett's immune response kick in and try and reject the heart. But they're through the early critical phase when organs can immediately fail. If successful, scientists hope that pigs can be used more often, not just their hearts, but their lungs, kidneys and livers too, especially given the acute shortage of human organs available for transplant in the US. About a dozen Americans die every day while waiting for one. Before the surgery, Mr Bennett reportedly asked if he would oink after the procedure. It was either die or do this transplant, he said in a statement. I know it's a shot in the dark, but it's my last choice. Mr. Bennett's still connected to a heart-lung bypass machine, but with his new heart now functioning normally, his doctors say he could be taken off the machine today.